All right, boys and girls, today we're gonna to be making a cowl graph. Now my fourth graders already know what this is because they've done this already this year, but you are going to be using a thinner piece of cardboard. So I picked a oatmeal container and you're gonna see me making two different kinds of cowl graphs. I'm making an abstract one and a more realistic uh, cowl graph. And all a cowl graph is is gluing something on top of another to get a print. <laughs> Now that we have made our calligraph and it's all dry, what I'm going to start to do is I'm going to do my rubbing. So this week we're talking all about texture. So texture is how something feels. So my string is very soft, my bubble wrap's kind of bumpy and maybe kind of smooth, and the cardboard is also pretty smooth. Now what I'm going to be using is oil pastels. If you don't have oil pastels, crayons work perfectly fine or chalk. Um, anything that you can kind of take the wrapper off of and you're going to be rubbing the whole stick on top of um, your paper. So this is my abstract calligraph. My other um, flower one is drying at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I ripped some printer paper in half and I'm going to put my calligraph in the middle of my paper underneath and I'm making sure that this is nice and even and I might start with the lighter color so I'm going to start with yellow you can see that I took the wrapper off already and I'm going to make sure that this doesn't move so I'm going to have a helper hand holding my paper and I'm going to start to rub now you can really see the yellow string kind of coming through here now maybe I try a darker color and maybe I go a different way there we go And maybe I end with pink. So I'm doing lots, lots of layers of color. And again, this one's gonna be abstract. So you're gonna see some of the sides of the shapes here. You can really start to see my triangles coming through. And there you go. Now that you've seen the two different kinds of calligraphs that I created, I can't wait to see what you make. Now this is kind of an experimental art process, so sometimes they work out and sometimes they don't. You could also see that I kind of outlined some of the shapes that I had originally glued down onto my calligraph, just so you could see it a little bit better. So I can't wait to see what you guys make, and make sure you fill out the Google form that is in Google Classroom. Bye guys!